kneel down. Kneel down. My husband. I kneel down, my wife. My husband, okay. No yeah. <laughs> yes, guys. So this is a reality life in Africa. A wife, you need to to wash your hands. It's such a lovely country, but it's crazy I didn't get an opportunity to exploit as I thought. But yeah, but what really got me thinking twice is when they said he needed a working visa to do content creation. Hey, that one was like no sir, mm -mm. <laughs> because I was like before I know it, they will come for me. Before I know it. So so I left. You, who have you ever bought a flight ticket for? Some of those people have, they don't even know prices of flight tickets, to be honest with you. Welcome to Tax and Cakers. And, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel so emotional about that. I know I will go in the prison in a few days uh, in a few days i'm going in the prison tomorrow officially i don't know why when he has passed ask ask carry on the food what out here to inform his audience that is he will be arrested what <laughs> how can someone lie like this he came out here to claim that he will be arrested in three days. <laughs> what is going on on these streets? Someone else who has been arrested is Masuba One. The wife came out here to inform his audience that Masuba One has been arrested. Let's get into it because the way Mayugno is lying is something else. But I think this is him. I think this is him because he's well known for activating, you know what? And of course that was the reason because why for what reason for what or maybe to gain sympathy let's let's get into it we'll get to know all that so are you ready for this video because i am let's start So welcome back and welcome if this is your first time joining us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your presence. Of course, if you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing over here. Like the video over here. And most importantly, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think, what you agree, disagree. Just be free in the comment section. And uh, of course, I have to thank my people. I have to thank all of you for always supporting your girl. For always sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, liking the video because it means a lot. So, as I always say, it's the best thing. It's something that I love the most about all these. I just like interacting with you in the comment section. You can never share your thoughts in the comment section and I don't respond. Because that is something that I enjoy doing. Of course, I'd like to know what you agree, disagree, so that I can learn, so that I can share something that you like on this space. Thank you so much. And of course, without forgetting. Without forgetting, thank you. Thank you so much for 600 subscribers. You just came by and decided that you're making it possible. Because as I always say, you're the people who make it possible. I'm so grateful. I appreciate every single one of you who subscribed and made this milestone possible. Thank you so much. I can never thank you enough because the things you do out here for your girl, I really appreciate. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. So, once again, if you've not subscribed, can you consider subscribing over here and, and like the video over here. So, let's start. So, yesterday, no, it was not yesterday because I've not posted for a while. If you checked my previous two videos, I recorded, I think, three videos. One is not out about Coco Girl. Because before all these Chris shenanigans, he came out here for Jamaicans. And, of course, she was dragged, like, mercilessly. <laughs> I'll share that video. That is why I've not been here for a while. I recorded three videos because I knew I'll be busy and of course this must go on. So that is why you'll notice that if you watched my two previous videos. So thank you so much for watching. By the way, you're just you're just something else because when you like the videos, wider audience will watch the videos and of course you know that will contribute to the growth of the channel. So thank you all of you. By the way, if I was to name every single one of you, imagine I would because if, if I interact with you in the comment section maybe once or twice, of course I'll, I'll remember you. Thank you so much. Sometimes I feel like naming all of you, but of course if I do, we'll be here for maybe two days because I'm just so grateful for every 
single one of you but of course i always let you know that i appreciate every one of you in the comment section and if you watch the videos and you don't check out the comment section you really miss out because it's always a vibe in the comment section it's a reaction on its own because you will laugh you will learn you will criticize you'll do everything in the comment section and i could never ask for a better audience because you're just the best so let's start my ibno came out here as i said i think um three week, three days ago or maybe four days ago no three days and uh, this was the video or oh, you will miss me a lot i know but this time i'm going to taking a short break i feel so emotional about that i will taking a short break about youtube taking like a i don't know how many time i will took because i know this is the part where we are going I've already got in the bad things. I need a lawyer. I know I will going in the prison in a few days. In a few days, I'm going in the prison tomorrow officially. I don't know why. I talk, but uh, my heart. I was laughing from morning, but uh, evening getting now. I was somewhere. That is things make bad for me. You know, I was struggling for very long time. Today I have, I have home, I have so many things. I will miss all. I will be miss the everything God God blessing me. I will be miss so much. Let's start right there. <laughs> Why is he lying? Because in Kenya, we all know, we all know the law in Kenya. Once because if because if he was arrested, because nowadays you can never take someone's word for it. Maybe he's just out here for clouds. <laughs> he's just out here to activate whatever he wants. Because the fact that he has come out here to lie, we will no, I'll not believe him. Because in Kenya, once you've paid the police bond or the bail in courts, you can never be arrested again unless after the case is done and you're found guilty. That is when you'll be punished. Maybe you'll pay a fine or maybe you'll go to jail. But before that, how will you be arrested? Because as you heard in that video, he came out here to claim that he will be arrested on Monday. <laughs> that he will be arrested on Monday. What a, what a ridiculous lie. That is crazy. And uh, of course he came out here to claim that he will be arrested for, for being in Kenya illegally. And this is something that we already talked about. Um, I honestly... I honestly don't know his immigration status in Kenya, but every time that we talk about Mayugno, we always come out here to, to advise him to get his papers in order, if it's not in order. But now, you can never know the immigration status of Mayugno, but I didn't like the reason that he gave. Because he said that he's from Kenya because his relatives are in Kenya. <laughs> I think before he comes out here to talk, maybe he should consult the lawyer, because that is not sufficient reason to be in Kenya. To be a Kenyan, it's not sufficient. Just for you to have relatives in Kenya, it does not necessarily mean that you're Kenyan. But uh, when you go to the comment section, some people, some people are claiming that uh, maybe one of the one of the parents is a Kenyan, one is a Uganda, no, one is a Tanzanian. But now he comes out here to contradict himself because at some point he claimed that he's a Luo. A Luo is a tribe in Kenya. At some point after all this incident, he came out here on that video to claim that he's not a duo, but a courier. I think just for him to come out here and contradict himself is something else. But now let's look at the reason why all this is happening. Of course, he didn't share who reported him, but um, it's a no-brainer. I think we all know because we once came out here to discuss a case when he was initially arrested for threatening Seijo. But now this is something else. I think we will not assume someone to be responsible for that because when he went to the police station, sometimes you just have to be honest. When he went to the police station, he was not complying. He was not complying with, uh, will I get myself in trouble for saying this? But okay, let me say, let me put it this way. When he reported to the police station and was detained, I think for eight hours, he did not comply. And then he came out here to to talk about the issue while they solved the issue at the police station. So of course it was not right for him to come out here on YouTube streets and uh, share everything that transpired. So maybe he's having fights with some people in the community. Of course it will not be right for me to come out here and name a person when I don't have the evidence. But of course if you watched that video, I'll try and link it somewhere here so that you can go and watch. If you watched that video, you'll be sure you'll know who the person who we are talking about because i think the fights 
that he has with his villagers is what is causing all this. And of course it's not right. <laughs> Kenya is so big, no one is taking your space. Like, people are living their life. Even if you're fighting with someone, why report that person? Why report that person? For what reason? Personally, I think it's I think it's jealousy or uh, maybe because they are fighting with these people, that is why it's being reported for this and that. But of course we can never know something in totality. We can never know in totality what goes on down there. <laughs> we can never know honestly. We can just talk about something that is brought out here. That is the only thing we can talk about. So I just thought of coming out here to share with you that. So something else. Masuba once wife came out here. Let's watch the video. I am a wife to Masubo One. Today at 9 a.m., my husband was arrested at Isibania. When I went there to see my husband, I didn't see my husband there and I returned back home. They told me that. Your husband is okay. Yeah, then I came back home. Until now, I'm alone at home with my children. Yeah, I came out here to allege that uh, Masuba had been arrested. Okay, this is my take. I'll not talk about much about it because I think this is a personal decision for anyone. But now this is my take. I think Uncle Mo is very wrong for stalking Masubo one. It's so wrong. Whether you agree with him, whether you disagree, if he has committed a crime, take him to the police station, report him. Report him. And if you think he did not commit a crime, he will not be found guilty for whatever you are reporting him to the police station. Maybe you think it's something to do with uh, African morals because we are brought up in a community where we still have our we still have our culture, we still have our moral values, you know, we still have our values. So, if Uncle Mo thinks that it's, he's not uh, committing something illegal, he's not committing a crime, it's just something that uh, maybe he thinks it should not happen, he should go to the chief's office. Yeah, that is what happens in Kenya. If you think uh, that it's not right, what he's doing, just go to the chief's office. Go and solve your issues there, but now stalking this person, you might end up in, in jail yourself. And you're thinking that you're defending someone. You think you're doing something, but actually you're even worsening it. Because stalking someone is illegal. This person can report you. This person can report you for stalking and they can give a very serious reason for you doing that. Someone can, uh, someone can argue that you're stalking him. You want to do something, maybe... Yeah, it's so wrong. I really condemn what Uncle Mo was doing. But now for Masuba want to be arrested, let's see what will come out of it. But it does not justify, it does not excuse what Uncle Mo did. Guys, what do you think? That is my opinion. Let me know about your opinion in the comment section. Because uh, that has been something that has been talked about in these streets, I think, for two weeks now. Because when Masubo One came out here to claim that someone contacted him for an interview, of course you know who. It sparked a lot of reaction. Some people were claiming that that is not right. Some people were claiming that you do what you want. You can have your own reason, but at the end of the day, it does not excuse. It does not excuse Ankomo behavior. You don't go around stalking someone. It's like you're taking the you're taking the law on your hands. Yeah. You're taking the law on your hands. And of course that is not allowed anywhere in this world. If someone is committing a crime, report him to the police officers. If someone maybe is morally wrong, or maybe you just have an issue with someone, go to the chief's office. You just go to the chief's office, you talk it out. You talk out your issues. You don't take the law on your own hands. Yeah, you don't. That is the truth. You might not agree with uh, what Masubo is doing, but let him follow the right channels. That is it. So that was it for today. I was just updating you guys of what is happening in Nyabohanze village. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe over here. Smash the like button over here. And of course, share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. And once again, thank you so much for 600 
subscribers thank you so much for that you made it possible you made it happen i really appreciate you thank you until the next video peace bye